and How he knows. How are they able to do it if they're false? Yes. Right. Jesus, look. Imagine it, if I'm a false prophet now, yes. I'm living all my life casting out demons, healing the sick, right? Jesus knows my heart. He knows the life I'm living. He knows that I don't really care about whether he... Wait, 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 wait. He knows I'm I don't sorry, really mate. care. He knows I don't really care if You're he died or rose again. He knows. He knows. So when he comes back now, I understand the point you make. Right. I'm going to say, Lord, didn't I do this? And he's going to say, Depart from me, you work of the lawlessness. So how do you identify them? No, I don't identify them. God does. And also, I can do because he said, You know them by their fruits. Yeah. So imagine these people were leading a good life, yes? And they're casting out demons in. In, in the name of what Jesus. What about in secret? Can I, let, me what about secret? let me finish. Let me yeah. finish. They're casting out uh, demons in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now, you and I don't know the heart, right? Only God knows. Mm -hmm. Yes, that we should all agree yeah. about mm -hmm. at least those people who believe in God. Yeah. But they could be concealing that falsehood within themselves. Yeah. But you see, you cannot know them. And I, I cannot know that. And besides, and besides, out. besides, besides Jesus in that particular passage, not once did he say that he's talking about any false disciples or false prophets. This is your interpretation that is false. Over there, Jesus says one very clear thing. Yes, do the will of the Father. He did not say do things in my name. Or in fact, he warned against doing things in his name in that passage in Matthew seven. He did say. Yes, he, he says did, those who say, say those who cast out demons in my name. Those who do wondrous things in my name, those who do miracles in my name, Hashim. on the day of judgment, on that day I will tell them, I do not know you. Get said, away from me, you evil doers. Now, true. why would why would they be evil doers if they're doing it in the name of Jesus? Are you talking Jesus? to the camera or are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to Paul. Right, okay, you're asking I'm sure the question. You can, yes. Right, the, the answer is this. Jesus also said, what? ask anything in my name, I will do it. That's what he said. I agree. So, so he's saying to them. Can I respond to so that? What, so what he's saying to yeah. them is that, you don't need to ask the Father. Oh. All power, ah, he said to them, when I ascend, ask anything in my name and I will do it. And that's what they were because, doing. And yet they were well, saying to get away from me. Let me finish. Yes, so he, what he's saying is, once he's ascended, remember the prayer that he had. He said, now glorify me with the glory that I had with you before the world began. Mm. So after he ascended, he, he went to heaven. All power and dominion was given to him. Yeah. All authority was given to him. Yeah. So that he knew he would have that power. So he told the disciples before he went to heaven, now I'm going, ask anything in my name, and I will do You went to a different passage altogether. No, but what he's what, what you're saying is what you're saying is yes. before that you said to you were trying to say that I'm the disciples saying, had to ask the father. No, I'm saying That's what you're, look, to look, say. you're saying Jesus said, Ask anything in my name yeah. and I will provide it. Is that right? That's right. This is exactly what those people were doing. They were doing it in the no, name but, of Jesus. No, but wait, wait. Wait a minute, I'll let you talk. Now it's my turn. Stop turning to the cases. No, no, but okay, I'm talking to you. I'll talk to you. It doesn't matter. This is exactly what those people were doing. In the name of Jesus, they were casting out the demons. With their dirty it, hearts. How do you know that? Oh, sorry, sorry. It God didn't say knows, that. God sorry. knows. Don't, inter don't, put, your, don't put your words in the, in the Bible. God knows. Do not twist the passage in the Bible. The Bible passage the doesn't say this. In the name of Jesus, they cast out the demons. According to you, if you ask anything in the name of Jesus, in the, in the, if you ask anything in the name of Jesus, it will be provided. But guess what? Jesus says, I have nothing to do with you. Get away from me, you evil dear. By the way, the passage which you quoted is in Matthew, sorry, in John 17, verse 5. Do you know what Jesus says before that? About Jesus' glory being with him. What is the passage, what is the verse before that? He starts with the Father. He's speaking to the Father. And he Let says, no, I'm not. You're the one who brought this okay, passage okay, in. I'm okay, talking about the same go, passage go. still. And Jesus says, this is eternal life. That we know that you, the only true God. Who is the only true God according to Jesus? The Father. But what does that mean? No, no, don't say but. Who is no, the only I'll true God? It. Wait a minute. Who is the only true God according to Jesus Christ? Right. Titus, in Titus it also says, no, answer the question. our great God and Savior. Answer Jesus the question Christ. here. You need to understand the completion. Of I'm everything. talking about the completion. Yeah. Let's let's Don't put go to one point. No, no, but you need to answer that point and then go to the others. What the passage says okay. is the Father. That's okay, the so so according says. to Jesus, who is the only true God? The Father. Good. Right. Do you agree with that? The, Do you agree I, with Jesus? Yes. In context, yes. in context, what it actually means. Actually, he agrees with that. That's good. Okay. No. That's what but what you it actually means. Yeah. Let me answer this. What it actually means. Oh, you're going to say what Jesus means. Yeah. So you're going to go into Jesus' mind you have to go about and answer that. Yes. You have to go into the okay. Go on. Interpret what? Times, Inter many times, interpret this. Be only true God. Let me speak. Yes. Interpret right, that. Right. 
there's many times in the Bible yeah. where Jesus calls himself the Son of Man. Isn't that correct? Yeah. Carry on, I'm listening. Right. Yeah. There's only two types of Son of Man oh. in the Bible. There's a Son of Man, in, as in the Son of a man, a human being. Yeah. I.e., when God in the Old Testament spoke to Ezekiel and said, Son of Man, do this, Son of Man, do that. If you read Ezekiel, mm. that's all God is saying, Son of Man. Yeah. But there's also the Son of Man in Daniel 7. Yeah. Right? The Son of Man in Daniel 7 was when Jesus said, when they were, uh, the Pharisees asked him, Are you the Christ? Are you the Son of the Blessed? And he said, yes, and you will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. Mm. Now, this is when they, one of the times they were going to stone him. Now, what I'm trying to say to you is that how Jesus was confirming his deity and his divinity, right? If you look in the whole Bible, yeah. look in the whole Bible, no one else uses the words, I am he, apart from Jesus. He says it, yeah, check it out. No, but what is the point? How is my that answering is, my question? My point is, Do you remember the question I asked yes, you? Yes, but my point, what is the question I asked my you? point is yeah. that regardless of Jesus saying um, the only true God is the Father, Jesus was confirming that he's also God. So how many gods have we got now? One. Who is that? The Father or the Father, the Father that Jesus or says? The Son or the Holy Ghost. One God. How are they one? When one Jesus God. says, listen, listen. One God. Listen this. When Jesus has confirmed that the only true God is the Father, then how can you have any other God? Okay. If there's only one God. Do you understand that Jesus is a human being? Yeah? On the well, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure yeah. he was so, only human so being. So yes. when he came down to earth, yeah. there's many times he spoke in his divinity and there's many times he spoke in his um, humanity. How do you know that? Right. In other words, how do you know which, you which is which? I'll give you an example. Yeah, go on. An example is when he was teaching them how to pray. <laughs> he didn't say, pray like this, he said, say, oh Jesus. Mm. He gave them an example by saying, Father. Our Father, right? Jesus prayed himself as a human being. Yes, he ate, he drank. What's that got to do with my question? Nothing. Listen, my brother, are you listen, telling me? Listen, are you telling I'm me that? Bad, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to explain to you. No, but you're not. Oh, sometimes you're changing the topic no, right now. No, you are. Sometimes Jesus spoke in his humanity. Yeah. So when he said the only true God is the Father, he was speaking as a man. Good. Good. Given an example. Good. Good. That's one half of him. One half Good. of him. Can I respond to As that? An example, of course. You can. Yeah. Can I respond course to that? Yeah. So when Jesus was during his ministry as a human being, who was he worshiping? Father. Yeah. The Father. Father? Yeah. What do you say? Agreed. The Father. What do you say? Agreed. Agreed. What do you say? The Father. What do you say? The Father. So according to you, Jesus was a Unitarian, not no, a Trinitarian. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't destroy, man. No. That's not what we said. No, no. That's not what we said. That's, you said he only worshiped the Father. That is a Unitarian. Okay. I just told you before. Wait, wait, wait. I just explained to you. You didn't see that coming. Wait, wait, wait. I just explained to you that Jesus came as an example. Yes, yes. So as a Unitarian. Thank you. No, no, that is exactly what the no, Muslims no, believe. One God, not a triune God. That is what the Jewish people being. believe. Can one God, not a triune God. No, but come on. You got to admit with me. Okay, did Jesus, let me ask you. Let me ask you a straight question. Did Jesus worship a triune God? As a human being. What do you mean did Jesus worship himself? Did Jesus? Did he Jesus? Himself? Yeah. He himself? Of course Jesus was worshipping God. Like you said Are already. You, you agreed with me Jesus was worshipping God. Can he I was given an example. As a man, yes. he was praying to the Father. When he came down on earth. Not a triune God? Only the Father. Am I right? He was a man. Okay. Was a man. So as a man, was he worshiping. praying? Was he praying and worshiping a triune God or only the Father? The Father. Thank you. I rest yeah. my case. What's your point? Uh, my point, your point is, even Jesus yeah. himself did not. Be